Hello everybody and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Majora's Master Series. I'm Big LT, DJ Let's Play Big LT Radio, joined by... The Guru! Hey, how's it going, folks? So, where he left, left off, we took care of one of the worst naming bosses in this game. I say one of, because there's another. Goat. Get yeah, goat. <laughs> but anyway, well, uh, in between episodes, uh, Groby actually rebattled Goat. Mm-hmm. Because we had to do something. Yes. And that's what this uh, video is about today. The boot. We are doing the quest for the gold dust. All right. And the keg. And as you probably noticed, he looks like he took a heavy hit during his uh, rematch. Yes. I was lucky. And I, and I suppose you didn't have a fairy in that fight. No, and I did on the first try. Well, we knew where the fairy was, too, in yes. front of Snow Point. <laughs> I wonder if that's the same for all the temples. Yeah, not the one in the ocean. The ocean one is... It's in front of the temple. That is in front of the temple. Because uh, you have to... We'll, we'll get to that when we get yeah. to that, but... You know what I mean. That fairy is in, in front of the temple. You just have to do something to get there. Yes. Uh, and, and it's, like, right there. Uh, hmm? what? I don't know. I have nothing. Nothing. I guess I just wasn't paying attention. I was gonna be like, um, you gonna draw any money or what? Yes, I did. I, w I wasn't looking, so I just didn't notice you did. It's okay. By the way, you probably guys noticed a uh, thing on the bottom of the screen that says Vizio. Yeah, that's, we're using my other TV for this one. Because then uh, the setup can be the same, it's just the uh, TV's different. You know what? I'm looking at the recording screen. Mm -hmm. I can barely see it. Well, it's on the very bottom, but you, you can make it out. It, it's on my TV. Um, nothing big. There's actually a cool thing about that Vizio logo, actually. Hmm. If my TV, when my TV turns off, it changes to an orange color. Oh, yeah. yeah. That that. But when it's on, you guys can see it's a white color. Maybe I can throw that off at the end of the video. Yeah, probably. Like, when we sign off, I'll just quick turn it off, and you guys, if you take a look, you'll see it. You'll, you'll probably see a black screen for a bit, but... I'll show it off. We're trying to do this now. Okay. We'll come back tomorrow morning. Alright, so we're off to do the gold dust quest. Which you need to do the Goron part first. Right. Now another thing is you also have to be goat later in the game again to do another thing that involves something in this in the mountains. Mm hmm You want me to say what it is? I'm trying to think what it is. Uh, well, here's the thing. You guys probably noticed that, uh, noticed this a bit, but there are multiple frogs around the world, and you need a specific, oh, yeah. you need a specific mask, but for those see. for those frogs, they only, it only works when it's spring, so to speak, when the snow is, when the snow is melted, and then you go back to the frogs, and they gave you something. I don't remember what it is. I want to say it's a piece of heart. Yeah. It is? Yeah, it's a piece of heart. Okay. Well, that was just a guess. I don't know this game, but apparently you want to take a guess that I apparently get it right. Yeah, lucky guesses. Yeah, I suppose. Ooh, powder cake. Yes. And don't worry if you died using this. Mm -hmm. You will just end up back here and you can just do it again. Okay. But it, it, as long as that fuse looks right now, ladies and gentlemen, it, it does get a little close. Yeah, it is. It does get a little close. If you keep screwing up like that. You gotta be really quick to take this where it needs to go. Do, do, do. Don't mind me, I'm carrying the keg. Don't mind me, just carrying some bombs? Don't mind me. Everything is okay, don't worry. Don't mind me, I'm just a suicide bomber, I'm gonna blow up the Goron village. <laughs> Not big enough. Sorry, I shouldn't joke stuff like that. Yeah, that's a yeah. no-no. Yeah, I know that's a no-no, but I was trying to go the Akhenai route. Yes. 
My apologies if I offended anyone or whatever. I will take full responsibility on that and apologize. Hey. How the hell did you drop that? I have no idea. It's Tyndall's fault. See, we're probably almost there right now, and yet that fuse is starting to look a little shorter, does it not? It tends to look that short. Well, when we first pick it up, it's long, so. Yeah. Ooh, you're lucky. Now, I believe if you hurry up, place it right there. You can transform back into regular Link, and you can mm. blow it up with an arrow. Yeah. It'd be a lot quicker. It kind of would be. However, it's about to explode. Yeah, speak, speak to a child. Go, boom. And if you go back to that dude, the Goron that gives the party cake, mm -hmm. He says, oops, I didn't mean to put your life in danger. Here's a free cake on the house. Ah. And after you do that little <laughs> quest. Don't mind to put your life in danger. Here's a free, free cake on the house. Something does not seem right with that sentence. Whereas <laughs> after, you, after you do that little side quest thing, mm -hmm. if you go to Cloud Town, and if you don't have a keg, you can get one for 50 rupees. Okay. So if I remember right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Goron race. They're, the rubber band on this is very strong. Yes. You have to be extremely lucky to win. Yes. And I should know because this guy here that's doing the race, he probably will be pretty bad at this for a bit. I can always give it a try if you don't if you don't get it after a few attempts. I'll try it for a bit. Yeah. I do like racing. So, but I don't know how well I'll do. That's the thing. And even though, yeah, it looks like we got the red thing there, we're not taking any damage. That would be, that would make this race way too difficult, especially with the kind of the hard containers that we may have. Yes. Also depends on the person too. Yeah, and there's also bombs. You gotta be careful of those. You can take uh, ram these guys off the track if you're lucky. I am not that lucky. Yeah. Well, you might have just done it there. Probably. Also, yeah, you also want to hit the uh, magic jars there because this does take up magic, and if you get low, you're going to have to hit those. And if you run out, you're going to lose the race regardless. Ooh, this is going to be close. This is going to be close. No, he beat you. No, maybe. I think he beat you, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, let me try with him right now. Let, let, me, give, let, me, let me give. Let me give him a try. Okay. How? What's the uh, rolling button? Uh, curl. Oh yeah, curl. Curl and roll. Let, whoop! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just assumed. I just assumed. I just assumed I could do that. I'm sorry. It's okay. Well, at least you get to see what happens if you do that. You just restart the race. Yep. I do like races. I don't know how I'm going to do, but we'll see what hair. They're doing slightly decent, actually. Well, considering I've, always, I've been playing racing games all my life. For the 32 years. I wouldn't say 32 years. I mean, that, that'd be like the day I was born. Well, you never know. It could be a baby that, that, you know. Oh, somebody had a bomb from the sound of things. Yep. It's going to be a close one. Yeah, it's going to be close. Doing pretty good. Up until that rubber band comes into play.
Oh, it's definitely gonna be close. It's definitely gonna be close. Maybe. No. Oh, wait. Maybe. Maybe. Did I actually pull this out of my butt? Yeah. I did. Wow. Your first four on race. Well, second, because yeah, I remember I did play this before up to the uh, last temple, but never finished the last temple because I never do a certain thing that required me to get to the last temple. But, but for your first try in this, this playthrough. Yeah, but okay, technically, well, you gotta remember, I did the horse thing for you in Ocarina of Time. True. And I am pretty good at that, too. I pulled that on my I think it's because I hit him off yeah. to the side. You, with that split second, you hit him. Yep. Yeah. All that god dang luck. And if you noticed, that is our second jar. Yep. Bottle, but yes. Yep. Second bottle. Now it's time to go get our free keg. Better than just kind of staying. <laughs> it's probably better than watching him um, go through five freaking times. Was it five last time? I thought it was, it was six. It was five or six. Yeah. It was one of the two. Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, there's your reason why I'm an excellent racer. Online racer? Not so much. Yeah, so single player racer? Yep. Yes. I can do single playing races all the time. That's why I do, um, that's why a lot of my videos are single player races. I don't think there's actually one video on my channel that's remotely um, multiplayer race of any kind that I can think of. Wee. I usually stay away from multiplayer. Although, okay, technically speaking, I take that back because um, Grand Theft Auto Online, I have got some two-player races on there, but that was for the content because the races were only two to 16 or some crap like that. See, it says right here. It is bad of me to put you through such a dangerous test. What do you think this as an apology? Gives you a powder keg and it's like, dude, you, 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 you do that to us. What's wrong with you, my guy? Yeah, it's kind of bad. So, um, are we going to do your, get your sword while we're in the area? Or? You have to do it in the morning. Well, you might as well skip time. Uh, true. There is one thing that we have to do while we have an uh, actual cake with us. Well, why don't you just... Well, we can always reset time and do whatever that is. It's, we got plenty of time. We're, still, we're 12 and a half minutes in. Whatever it is, we can do it after we take care of your sword. Uh, sure, we can always reset time after we get the sword. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure you need the powder keg again anyway, but you should be able to get, them, get it again as many times as you want, right? Yeah. As long as you have the rupees. Right. But no, I've had a history of uh, racing games in my life because the first time I ever played a video game was a racing game, being Cruising USA on the N64. And that's kind of how I jump started into the, into the gaming world of racing. You, on the other hand, don't do races. Not really. The only races I do is usually in certain games. I, I know my friends and which ones are racers and which ones aren't. I'm more of the RPGer. Yeah. I am... I'm an RPGer too, but only like Pokemon, monster catching type kind of thing. Um, not all monster taming games I typically care for. I think Rise Up right now, there's three big ones. Actually, no, four, four, four. Um, Pokemon, obviously, Digimon, Nexomon, and Temtem, once that releases. Mm. But I have played the beta, and I, and I do own it on Steam, but the Steam one's kind of, I don't know if it's because of my internet or my software or my computer, but it's just kind of really, it's just that really bad. Um, it's kind of hard to control your, your character because of the lag and everything that, that I have going on on it. So I'm just waiting for the... The Tempo Switch version, as well as the other versions. The Razor Sword! Yeah. I, I would say PS5, but I don't own a PS5. I almost did, but I led against it. Alright, now we need the Gold Dust. That's why we did the Goron race, ladies and gentlemen!
Oh, you gotta do that. Now, technically speaking, if I remember right, if you sold the gold dust, you get, what is it, 200? I think it was either 200 or something. So I guess if you if you're really good at that Goron race and you just want the extra cash, you can always just But the thing is you would have to be goat and then do the Goron race to get the gold dust and then sell it. Yeah. It's a little more tedious, but then there's an easier way that I can think of to make a little more money. There's a bird that you can Not a bird. There's a there's a bird that you can kill that you that drops a huge orange ruby, I believe it is. I think it's like a hundred, two hundred. I think it's two hundred. Okay, and that and that and the thing is, if you want the money easier, just kill the bird. Yeah. Oh, and, and the thing is, if you kill it, all you have to do is, um, like, if you want, if you, you just deposit the money into into the bank, go back to where the bird was, he'll respawn. You don't have to advance time or anything. It's just that convenient. Which I didn't know until the other day. Yeah. I was like, what? You can actually kill the thing. Yeah, you can. It just takes a few hits. Yeah. And by a few, I mean a lot. A lot. But you have to, like, Z target, shoot it with arrows. Yep. Which is a pain in the... Yeah. Yeah. It's just a pain. Yep, I know. Yay, the best... The third best sword in the game. Third best? Yep. Well, I know, I guess I know one of them, and then there's... How, wait, how is this the third best? There's technically five. Swords? Yeah. Do you want me to say it? Uh, you have the Kiri sword, you have the Razor sword, you have the Gilded sword, you have the sword from the end of the game, and then you have the Fairy sword. Hmm. You can technically say it's five. Yeah, there's technically five. Yes. This so, one. now what do you say your position is? Mm, third. Still third? Okay. And I guess the Kokiri would be at the bottom, or... That's the, number five. Or would you rather put um, the Razor Sword on the bottom, because it only, cause it breaks after 100? Okay, yeah. Razor is number five, then Kokori, and then, then this one. Yep, and then I take it the Great Fairy is second, and then the, the sword at the end of the game is yep. the first one. Yep. Okay. And we won't say what the name of that sword is on account of... Spoiler! A big, a big spoiler, yep. But to only get that sword, you have to do a certain requirement. Yes. There's a certain requirement to get that sword. Very specific. Yes. Requirement. Yes. Bye-bye, bombs. Bye-bye, arrows. I'm here to blow up crap. But I'm all out of bombs. I've been building bombs in my garage. You caught me, Skippy. Thanks for straightening me out. <laughs> yes. That would be military grade plus explosives. <laughs> what? what? Well, sometimes the machine confuses lotion for that. There's no <laughs> lotion on the puppet's butt. I've been building bombs in my garage. You caught me, Skippy. Thanks for straightening me out. So, what are we doing money? Oh, right, you're gonna get the uh, final day. Yes. Now, do we have to rebattle the boss again to get it, or? No. Ooh, really? Yep. That's all we have to do. Go to the bomb shop? Go to the bomb shop. Mm. Hey, was he here all this time? Yes, he was. Oh, we just never noticed. Is it 50 rubies for a powder cake? Jeez. Sorry to make you waste that free one. It's okay. I just assumed it'd probably be best if we did it that way. Yeah. Now, time to get the requirement to go to the ocean. Oh, yeah. Because we do need the requirement to get to the ocean. Yes. Same requirement that it takes us to get to the water temple of all things. Ironic. There's the bird! Ah. Stole your bottle! 
It's still in your bottle! Oh yeah. He's already flown away. Mother... <laughs> he stole your bottle. <laughs> My very bottle. <laughs> no, that was your fault. But yeah, it, that's the bird that you have to kill to get like 200 rubies. I'm sad. You took my favorite bottle. But you still got another. But that one was my favorite. <laughs> You're gonna have to get it back. Yeah, unfortunately I had to spend rubies to get it. How many rubies do you think it's gonna cost? I don't know. Not yet. Oh, there's a fairy. You might need that. Spread your wings. So yeah, apparently only the Goron can carry the Pirate King. Yeah, I think so. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of Dodge! And thus, boom, the road is open. Now the road would be open on the third day, but apparently we've missed out on something. Would we not? Um, what are we missing? Uh, no, we would not be missing anything because the thing that you're referring to, she probably, we could do that quest if we wanted to. Yeah, I'm talking about the quest. Yeah, we missed that quest, and um, yeah, yeah, we don't want to spoil it too much about that quest. Yeah. Hey, girl, how you doing? We thought you died. Don't worry, it's just us. Yes. Hey, hey, I want my horse. Give me my horse. Grasshopper. I have no idea why she says grasshopper. She just said it right there because her clothes are green like a grasshopper. They are coming. Who are they? I think they're cow tippers. So yeah, you got two minutes to do this, right? Well, yeah. Giddy up! Now here's the thing about this, ladies and gentlemen. The side quest that this would involve in, um, we probably won't be doing it in this episode, but we're just going to say this right now. You technically don't need a Pona for it. Yeah, you don't really need a Pona. So I don't even know why this is even a thing. I, re I never originally played it, I thought, oh yeah, you need a Pona to do this thing. No. Years later, I come to realize, nope, there's an easy trick for it. But well, we will eventually be doing this at quest. Yeah, just probably not right now. Probably not for a little bit, maybe, when we get to a point where it would make, make sense. You left a whole bunch of them out there. How many of them are there? Ten? Uh, I think that's what she said. You get two missing. You ain't beating the record. Yeah, I was just trying to beat the record. Mm. Hardcore is a player probably would. There's the last one. 
think that is the last one. Yep. Now let's try them moving, shall we say. Well, I'll be darned. How does she know that song? Hmm. Well, technically, I already knew this song. Yeah, we already knew this song. Why do we need to know it again? Because this is my horse. You did not your horse, it's my horse. That's my horse! No, no, Ed, it's your horse! Now, uh-uh, like this, Double D. Okay, Ed, it's my horse. No, Ed, it's my horse! You know, now I look at her bow, mm -hmm. it looks oddly similar to the fairy bow. Hmm. Huh. The one in Ocarina of Time? Yes. I wouldn't know. She was stolen from us while we were away. <gasps> yeah, mother. Mmm. <laughs> okay, now we got to refine the question. Yep. Yeah. To the ocean, and then we can wrap it up. Hi ho, silver. Yes. Or I should say, hi ho, Pona. Uh, is that, was the horse's name all that time Silver? I just thought it was just a. I thought it was just a nice little catchphrase. No, his name was actually yeah, Silver. The horse's name. The horse's name. The, 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 the original name was named Silver. Uh, in that series that we're, I think we're talking about. Yeah. The Lone Ranger. Yeah. Yeah. It, the horse. Also, name was, where are you going? Uh, the ocean's okay. back that way. You're kind of on the other side that you need to be. It would have been easier to go to the left. True. Coming out of Tomato Romani Ranch, just saying. Because now we're basically going, basically we're running laps. We need to practice. We do really need to practice. And we're going away from the ocean now. Can't go down the stairs with the phone. Oh, you can't. Oh. Like I said, jeez, Groby. Trying to kill her? Maybe. See what I mean? You could have easily went straight to the left. We already went one lap around this thing. Here, give me the freaking controller. It's okay, I got it. <laughs> like, look at this. Look at this. Here's the jungle. Right. Okay. Right over there is where we came out. He went. He, he could have went. Easily would have went this way. <laughs> it would have been there. He took a whole lap around the freaking map. Yes. I am so ashamed. What? Uh, Pona, why did you not jump? And why can't I get... Freaking up? There's no stairs here. Oh. See, she can... She can go off that. Oh, I guess where there are stairs right there. No. Opponent, what what are you doing? I'm trying to hit the moon lock. <laughs> I'm trying to Controls for this is really weird. There we go. I'll take the control so we can wrap up. Yes. I wanna see what the by the um the hook thing. Yeah, I saw this. They didn't even come up with a thumbnail for this. What? Maybe we can work something out. Oh, I know how I can, what the thumbnail can be. All right, well, let me know at the end uh, when we get done recording. Uh, because you see those what signals? No, 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 no. We're wrapping. We're not wrapping. That's that's for the next episode. Oh, okay. I was thinking of what we would just did in this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, where's the... Oh yeah, apparently she can one kill beast. Yep. The hours on the hook thing. The hook thing? Oh, there. Oh. Well, we don't technically need to do that. We sure. Just... Wasting an arrow. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Alright.
We'll wrap it up right now, okay? And good thing, because we're already at the 30 minute mark. So, perfect timing. The opponent had to be a bit of a... Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this episode of, of uh, Majora's Master Series. I almost said Ocarina. Yeah. My and, Ocarina. I mean, technically speaking, Link has the Ocarina. Yeah. But anyway, I've been Big LT. Do you guys play our Big LT radio? This is Groovy. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah. Take care. Well, have a good day. See you.